Today we are going to do something very different and exciting. In my opinion, I think it's very exciting. We are going to take the inner of a point shoe, put it on the foot and see how it works. And yes, I'm talking about Axible 3D printed point shoes. Okay, so I've got them over here. Quick dance break, my caps. I've already taken them out of the skins. And actually, if you watched my video of when I received my point shoes, you'll see how I struggled a bit to get them in. It was super simple to get them out. And I think now that I know what I'm doing, it's gonna be super easy to get them back in. So over here we have the innards. So this is what I'm talking about. We're gonna take these and I'm gonna try them with different straps. So I'm gonna try with the thin strap, the medium strap, the large strap, and in different places using two straps, one strap, and just let's see together how they feel, how they look. And then, I don't know, maybe this will help you with knowing how to strap your feet in your actable point shoes. So let's see. But first, can we first have a short intermission? I want to unbox something with you guys. I got these Fermu. They make glasses in, I'm not sure where they make them, but they reached out to me saying, could they please send me a pair of glasses? And I was like, absolutely. So I received them today and I am very excited to try them on. So that's how I'm like, Let's do this quickly because I actually want to wear them for the rest of this video because I'm just so excited to see because they are an unusual style. I thought, you know, since I'm getting a present, I will choose something that is, you know, different and unique and something I wouldn't usually choose. I've got my laptop quickly before I open them because I just wanted to read a little bit about them. They've given me a code as well, which is an affiliate link, but also you'll get an exclusive discount on your purchase if you do decide to buy a pair after seeing what mine looked like. I must tell you that when I did put the order in I got them relatively quickly. I think it took about two weeks. Let's see this was on the 20th of September and it's the 4th of October now and I just received them today so it's like yeah 14 days that it took for me to receive them in South Africa which is fantastic. So let us unbox them and see how they look. I must tell you that they are prescription. So, oh, okay, this is the case. It's just a plastic case. Here you go. Oh, I also got a 50% off voucher. Yeah, more of that. See the world in a better site. Global site is fermu.com. They come in a little pouch like this. I'm very excited to see what they look like. Okay, wait, let's show you guys first. You see what I mean about them being different, hey? They like got a bloop. Ooh. <gasps> okay, these feel amazing, guys. I want to tell you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. How does it look? Do we like it? Do we love it? What do you think? What do you think? Ooh! I do like them. Weird like asymmetrical but yo I do like them what do you guys think let me know what you think yeah and if you want to get yourself a pair they feel really nice quality as well they've got like the monkeys on the roof they've got like a gold frame and then no frame over here and no frame over here and then this like tortoise sh tortoise tortoise shell that goes around like that I think they are very cute and beautiful and they are prescription which is amazing because I have to wear prescription glasses to see far so now these are my new glasses for at the moment so I'm very excited. Thank you for bearing with me with that unboxing which I was desperate to do with you guys because I was so desperate to wear the glasses but let's get on to the whole purpose of this video of trying these on now just with the straps. Guys I have placed you all the way outside so that we can have a different angle for this. First try, start from small to big. So first off, I'm going to take out these straps that I've got in at the moment. So we're going to start with one first. One of the small, then we'll move on to one of the medium, then one of the large. This is going to take a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> 
Okay, if you want, you can actually even have it all the way closer to the box, which is amazing. This strap is actually, the hole is not as wide as this one, so it's not going to fit on that section over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it over here in this section over here rather. One and two. Mm -hmm. Okay, you'll see what I actually mean that you see this one is quite a bit, that strap is quite a bit shorter than the other one. Okay, so now for the moment of truth, I'm going to take my shoes off, just chucking them across the room. So, cats, I don't know if you guys recall on my last act point shoes video that it was starting to hurt from the bone of the foot. Well, act actually sent me a video on Instagram showing where I can cut on the shoe to help relieve that um, tension on that part of the foot. So I've inserted the video here so that you guys can have a look-see of how to do it if you find that you need to have that done. Okay, I've got the right one on. And now the left one. I haven't cut it because it doesn't seem to have been giving me pain since that first time of trying them. Now you'll be able to see what I mean about point shoes spines going on the outside of my feet. Okay, so this is what my feet do in these shoes with the straps over there, the small ones. Feels very dangerous for me, firstly because I'm not strong anymore and secondly because I've got quite a high instep, so that would not be a safe option. So I'm going to try and move them up one step. Okay. okay, and this is what my feet do when they are one step up. Can you see how my heel slips the spine slips on my point on my backs always no matter what point she's I wear but it's definitely not as bad on this foot okay so this is what the foot does still doesn't feel feel secure enough for me guys this is editing Carmen and I went to ballet this morning again it is two weeks since I filmed this video that I'm busy editing for you guys now and today I realized that I think the point shoes are too big for me. So this is the whole issue. I should be wearing a size 5, not a size 6. I think that is the problem. And now I've just gotten, literally, I sent an Instagram message to act. And literally, 20 minutes after that, I got an email saying that my order is being shipped. And there's no way I can send them back because it'll cost like the same amount as the actual sole of the shoe. To send it back to Germany to change the process size five. So I'm feeling a little bit depressed about that right now. Anyway, sounds like a me problem. Last step up. And then we can move to the medium and then on to two straps. That was nice and quick. This is on the last option. That definitely feels like it's holding my foot up better because it's preventing my foot from going over too much now. Can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see the differences as much as I can feel them, but there definitely is a more secure feeling with the strap being up there. Piece of white fabric and place it over the stuff at the bottom here so that you guys can see a bit better, hopefully. With the white cloth there, hopefully you'll be able to see better now what it is we're trying to achieve here. Okay, we have done the medium, the small. Now we are moving on to medium. The medium is 
just a little bit I would say like five millimeters wider than it was small okay we're going to start in the same position again velcro up on the outside of the shoe and we're going to start here again one it definitely becomes more natural the more one does this because it's like anything in life the more you practice it the better you get at it all right here we go left foot there we go I don't like it when the velcro goes onto my toe, toe caps and makes it go all fluffy. This is definitely the wrong place for me to have the elastics. That's way too low down. Also, I think two elastics, um, two straps is definitely better than just one. Again, not enough support at all. Move it one step up. Feels so strange wearing a point shoe that doesn't have a back or anything. I mean, obviously these shoes have it, but like trying it on like this for you guys. Okay, so oh, yo, look at that! How much my heel is popping over the sole here now. This is definitely the wrong place for me to have the elastics. That's way too low down. Also, I think two elastics, um, two straps is definitely better than just one. Again, not enough support at all. Medium, medium strap on the middle setting. This already, look at the back of my heels. That already looks better on my heels. You see how the shoe isn't pulling as much, like the spine isn't pulling as much out towards the outsides of my feet now. So this is definitely already a lot better. But still not enough support for my feet. Maybe when I get a bit stronger, then it'll be better. Okay, now we're going to move it up one more notch to the last option. If you open the shoes like that, literally hold the point shoe right you can hold it between your legs and then just pull the spine like that and it actually clips in so much quicker i really took like five times of doing this now to make me realize that that's what i needed to do like of course it does sound explanatory to start off with but you know we all have moments that are a little bit more slower to get to all right, now we're on the last, the highest part. Oh, okay. <sighs> that feels like it's pulling me back on my point shoe now. But look, also, it feels like the spines are going out towards the outside of my feet even more than what they were on the middle. You know, it's actually very helpful to do this, but my recommendation is rather actually hold on to something while you're doing it, just in case the velcro pops actually i'm just thinking and your foot comes out of the shoe and you hurt yourself all right let us move on to the hip straps if my son was here he'd say that'd be sick boys here are the large straps now they are significantly bigger than the medium i would say almost a centimeter almost 10 millimeters wider so let us put but now because this one is so wide i'm thinking it makes sense that it would go like that okay so let's give this a go let me hold on to something okay it hasn't popped okay this definitely not enough support for me definitely not but, and also it's funny because it's like my it feels like my left foot is more archy than my right foot and i think that's why i always prefer to do releves on the left on the right foot is because the left one isn't as archy so like i was saying in the previous act video that i think you can like a cuss 
customize the coin shoes, the strap. So you could have two on the one foot or one on the other or have a medium and a small on the one and just a large on the other. Like You can just play around with it and see what works best for your foot, which is so crazy to me because you don't have to have it remanufactured. You can just somehow do it at home like this. So my recommendation to you guys would actually be to what I'm doing here, if you have at point shoes or you're thinking of getting them, when you get them, try this. But please remember to hold on to something. Don't be like me where I'm just like, you know, being irresponsible. Now we've got it on the top section. The Velcro just makes it around over the arch on these. So I'm definitely going to hold on to something with these now. That's where these are placed. Oh, I want to tell you, this feels amazing. Okay, you know what? I feel like this is right for me. I feel like this is right for me. Definitely my foot is still going out of the sole. You can see that yourselves, that it's definitely, especially on the left foot. I don't know what it is about my left foot. But it is a very naughty left foot. See, look at that. That is much better. And this feels secure and happy for me. I feel very confident with them like this. So on the single straps, I would definitely say for myself that the wide strap on the back section is where I need to have it. Okay, so let's just for fun to use trial with double straps. While I'm here already filming with you guys, I might as well just do the whole hog. Now, let's think about this logically. If I had the big one at the back, then maybe what I'm going to do is try with the thinner one closer to the box. So we're going to try that first. One large. Why did I take this one off now? <laughs> so I'm going to keep the large one where it is because that felt really good on my foot. Putting the large one over there and I'm going to put the lower one closer to the box like that. You see? I'm going to do the same on the left foot. So we're going to go over there and there and see how these feel now. I have a feeling it's going to be too much. Because also I find that if it is too far, like, no, I'm not going to make sense if I say what I was about to say. Oh, and also you can loosen it to as much as you want. So I'm going to loosen it, like make it kind of loose. Just so that it's not too restrictive because I don't want it to feel like it's pulling me back off. Because that's another thing you can do is you can change the how tight you've made it. You know what I mean? So the front one, I'm going to make it quite loose. Back one, I'm going to make it tight. So actually what the whole story is here is that you need to do this at home if you have the point shoes and see what works best for your foot. Because what works well for my foot is not necessarily going to work well for your foot. So my recommendation would definitely be to try this at home but please do hold on to a bar or table or tea or something thank you all right here we have okay that feels great but i feel like that lower one that's close to the box i think i can actually tighten that one a bit more so i'm going to do that quick better i'm actually wondering i'm thinking now hear me out i'm thinking that maybe if i was to put the thinner one no you see i'm trying to figure out if i can try act if you're watching this video please let me know if there's anything i can do to try and rectify how the soul sits on the how the spine sits on the sole of the foot because I was just thinking that maybe I should put the narrow one 
closer to the heel and make it tighter, but then it's going to pull me back off my box, I think. So I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like this is quite comfortable. I feel like this is probably the best way for me to wear them. I'm not doing any spins or anything because these shoes are quite the... 3d printing it's like very tacky on the floor not sticky it's just if i turn i'm going to twist an ankle or something also i don't have the sock the skin on so that would not be wise but yeah so this is it this is what it looks like over here should we just for fun try the two smaller ones should we just for fun just so you guys can see okay let's do it so we're going to do the medium one and the small one. So I'm going to take the large ones off. And the large ones are sitting at the back here. So with the medium ones, now I've got a little bit more space to play because I've got different options here now. Whereas with the other one, I could really just put it in one place. I suppose I could overlap straps, but... Let's see here. If I put it right over here, I think I'm going to put it right on the, the back one because I'm thinking that maybe that can help it to stay on my, on my heel. You know what I mean? So let us see what the story is over here. There we go. Okay, so we've got a gap and then the small closer to the box and the medium closer to the heel. Now, I hope you're finding this interesting, if not helpful. <laughs> but I do hope that you're finding this helpful. I'm going to put it tight at the back to see what happens. And then in the front, I've made it just tight and loose -ish, so it's not, it's not one or the other. Okay, the back one on the left foot is too tight. Let me show you. Oh no, it's actually fine. Um, but I think definitely for me, because now it feels like the spine is like moving away by the arch now even. Look at the back and tell me. I think the way I had it was the wider one at the back and then the smaller one where I kept it in the front is just right for my foot. So I highly encourage you guys to give this a go at home if you have at-point shoes or if you are getting yourself some, yay, I'm so excited for you. And secondly, try this at home. Okay. Just take some time out of your day. You will need time to do it because to film this video is taking quite a while. Changing the straps and everything. But I would definitely recommend that you do that. But for now, because I've got ballet just now, I'm going to build these up for class. So that the way I think that they were comfortable on me. See, they are overlap over there like that and this is what's comfortable for me small towards the box large towards the heel but this is what i think i'm going to have my settings as yeah so i'm going to go to class just now wait let's build them together quickly for fun you can see on my second round of doing this that it's easier okay this is the right sole that's the right inner this is the left one always close your laces because this velcro is very sticky. You see, last time it got sticky then, and that's why it was such a difficult thing for me to get the skin on, was because of that. So let's try it again, and hopefully it'll be easier to get in this time. Okay. 
Now we wiggle side to side. Oh yeah, look at that. <gasps> look how quick that was. Okay, definitely <laughs> the second time putting the skin in is easier than the first time. I think it's just had some time to wear in that. And also I sort of know-ish what I'm doing-ish. So that is great. Okay, maybe we can chat a bit later there about how I felt about the way I set my point shoe for myself. I'll also maybe just show you my foot up close at the ballet studio so that you can see what my foot like looks like and if you have a foot like mine then maybe this will be super duper helpful, helpful for you. I love how easily that went in this time. Ooh. Just like that. Okay. Yo, I can't tell you how I struggled the first time putting these in. So this is amazing that it's just going in so easily now. Okay, there you go. Alrighty. You won't believe what happened, but I got my point shoes about three weeks ago, and in that time period, at points, so was busy running a competition of post a video of you dancing or whatever in your act points, hashtag dance and act points, and I ended up winning. <laughs> How crazy is that? Um, so what the prize was, was get the money back for your point shoes, but now, which is amazing, but now the guy who bought these point shoes for me he said just jolly well buy something else off their website so thank you thank you act thank you act points for giving me point shoes well there may be a jumper or something i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see guys i just put my point shoes on my act point shoes and they feel amazing this really feels like the right kind of setting for me. But the reason why I don't really want to dance in them now is because look what's happened. See how smooth they are? I think what I need to do is take a grater and just grate that leather a bit so that I can have a little bit of traction. Because right now, it's like ice skating. And I don't want to do no ice skating. <laughs> Also, I wanted to show you guys this shawl that I've got here. This is going to be launching as part of my dancewear collection on Olive and Bob. Hopefully soon. Um, I will keep you guys updated on that. So <laughs> that is something gorgeous. Oh, also the leg warmers. Like, oh my gosh, this feels incredible. I wish you guys could actually just feel it through the camera. Oh. And then you can even wear it like a shawl. So on those days where you go to ballet where it's like a hot day but there's a bit of a chill in the air, perfect. And then looks cute on the back dress as well. So 
So, love it. Um, and also, one more thing before I sign off, guys, I wanted to tell you something. These are definitely the right setting now for my feet. I want to tell you the wide one and the, I think it was the narrow one. Perfect for my foot, absolutely perfect. I did insert a video before showing you the shape of my foot in case your foot is about the same as mine. Then you can give it a go. But this feels 